The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. West Abdullah Limbarak project is located 18 kilometers from Jahra and Kuwait City. West Abdullah Limbarak project area is 902 hectares. The number of targeted units in the project is 5,201 units and the unit space is 400 square meters. The project consists of 26 schools, 24 masjids, two governmental complexes, 10 shops, two gas branches, three central markets, two fire extinguishing centers, two health cares, and three police stations. Electric current of the project will gradually enter service starting from the first quarter of 2019. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare received the total project vouchers in the same city with a total of 5,201. The main power transformers contract is currently under implementation with 16 million and 150,000 Kuwaiti dinars, in addition to another contract covering six stations worth 18 million Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is in the process of determining the schedule of the project of the completion of public buildings of suburb and the project of the city of West Abdullah Limbarak, where the tender was awarded to the Kuwaiti company Al Hamra with a contractual value of 28 million and 466,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is currently working on the establishment and completion of 99 government buildings in the west of Abdullah Limbarak after the completion of the signing of all contracts for the public buildings and entry into the implementation phase through four contracts with a period of implementation with up to 30 months. Work on the project was started on the 25th of November 2015 during a period of up to 730 days and ended on the 23rd of November 2017. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding West Abdullah Limbarak project. From Gharb Abdullah Limbarak account, power stations with permission will be ready to deliver the power supply in the summer of 2019. Photos of some of the various parts of the building are under construction during a fold. And in the end, from new Kuwait government, future starts with you. On the occasion of the 25th Ligurian Cultural Festival, the NCCL organized and presented a play performed by young Kuwaiti actors at the Shamiya Theatre. We are currently participating in Korean Festival through the play Saleh Returns, written by Dr. Nadia al qanai and directed by Isa al -Humar. This play had participated before in Comic Nights Festival hosted by the National Council of Art and Literature and had its part of praise by audience and critics. So the National Council of Art and Literature decided to reshow it in this version of Korean Festival. The show was mainly performed by young Kuwaiti youth who showed a strong desire to prove themselves and bring the best they can present to the stage. The play is a part of Korean Festival events and it's conducted by the Arabic Theatre Group, which I'm a part of. And we are always trying to activate the theatrical motion through the local youth festival or Korean festival. So it's a constant activity from which the audience can benefit and trying to know what is new for the youth and who are all graduates of the theatre. The youthful play experience is a promising idea of a creative text by the writer Dr. Nadia Sleiman al qnai which is highlighting the prevailing Arab reality in addition to comedy presentation.